Boroda, hello. Kroiso, welcome to Expanding Horizons with Equity Live. I'm Jamie Owen, and it's my very great pleasure to be here as your host for today's conference. Thank you very much indeed for uh, joining us in what I hope you'll find to be an absolutely informative and inspiring event all about equity. Over the next four hours or so, we're going to be hearing from leading finance figures and business owners about their experiences of equity investment. As businesses look to bounce back from this pandemic and the extraordinary challenges of the last 18 months, the Development Bank of Wales and our partners in today's event, British Business Bank and Business Wales, believe equity funding can be an important finance option for businesses and unlock huge potential in the economy of Wales. So the aim of today is to try to help break down some of the barriers to equity, demonstrate the impact equity funding can have on businesses, and dispel all those many myths surrounding it. So whether you're joining us uh, looking to start up, scale up perhaps, accelerate your growth, or even to buy a business, equity can be a key facilitator. So I hope there is something here for everyone. We're going to be hearing fascinating real-life stories of Welsh businesses who have prospered through raising equity, as well as, I hope, gaining insight from investors, experts and advisors who are going to be joining us. We're splitting into six sessions with some extraordinary speakers, panel discussions, which I hope you'll find informative, inspiring individuals who will be sharing their own business experience and equity tips. We will cover the art of fundraising, finding the right investor fit, the power of NEDs and why it's never too early to start succession planning. Lowry Morgan, the BAFTA award-winning broadcaster and extreme athlete will be here, giving us all a bit of motivation on exceeding goals and driving success. The investor, entrepreneur and TV personality Piers Linney will be providing advice and inspiration for businesses on raising funds and scaling your business. And finally, we'll be reviewing the key themes of the day with Mike Owen, the Group Investment Director of Development Bank of Wales, and Warren Rawls, the Managing Director of UK Network at British Business Bank. Your questions, of course, can be submitted in the usual way via Zoom. And uh, where we have time in each session, we'll uh, try and do our very best to cover them. You can also use the uh, equity hashtag on your screen to talk about this event online. And I do hope that you do. Shortly, we're going to hear the welcome address from the Minister for the Economy, Vaughan Gethin. But first, it's my very great pleasure to hand over to the Development Bank of Wales Chief Executive, Giles Thorley, to share some of his insights on the high growth ecosystem in Wales. Giles. Borodar, good morning. This is the first time I've worn a suit since January 2020. Even at my sister's Zoom wedding, I was wearing shorts underneath this jacket and tie visible on the screen. We've all learnt a lot in the last 18 months and counting. For example, you're on mute has become the most common phrase in a business meeting. Despite all of the palaver, at DBW we have remained open and very active throughout. Fundamentally, it is our belief in the power of equity investment that has been the catalyst of today's event. The last 10 years has seen an extraordinary increase in high growth startups and scale ups across the UK. These fast growth businesses, particularly in the tech sector, have driven job creation, attracted record levels of investment and created a world class ecosystem for entrepreneurs. Research released by Bohurst yesterday shows a clear link between businesses that grow quickly and those that raise equity. In fact, of the companies that achieved the impressive feat of more than 100% annual growth in turnover over the last three years, 61% had received equity investment. Companies that received equity investment grew by their turnover by 19.6%, compared to a 5.6% increase for those that did not. The report also shows that Wales is playing an increasingly important role in the growth of British startups and scale ups. The numbers speak for themselves. Wales has 1,215 high growth companies, which have raised £882 million since 2011. 28% of these companies are technology businesses, and Cardiff and Swansea have firmly established themselves as two of the most exciting and dynamic tech hubs in the UK. 
Many other businesses on the list are more traditional sectors, including food and drink manufacturing, property development and engineering. This is a story of home growth talent in Wales producing world-class businesses with significant valuations. The last 18 months has been challenging for everyone. However, this report demonstrates that wealth, Welsh high growth businesses have shown remarkable resilience during the pandemic. In fact, 2020 was a record year for Welsh investment with £129 million raised by high growth companies and 19,453 new companies incorporated. Whilst the research examines investment activity in Wales since 2011, what I find most exciting is what this data tells us about the future of the high growth ecosystem in Wales. A fifth of the high growth companies in Wales have female founders. While more needs to be done to increase this figure, it demonstrates a start of a community that is truly embracing gender diversity in business. More than a third of the funding rounds are first time equity deals, which suggests a strong base of new ambitious companies aiming at rapid growth. The race is on to establish the first Welsh tech unicorn, but it is encouraging to see that we have created a pipeline at early stage, high potential businesses. Wales can be the engine room creating the next generation of British um, tech success. Of course, there is more to do, and I hope this is just the beginning of a golden age of Welsh startups and scale ups. The Development Bank of Wales is working hard to stimulate growth beyond Cardiff and Swansea to build momentum in other regions across the country. We're also working to encourage more co investment into the Welsh market. We've seen increasing investment activity from firms like IP Group, BGF, LDC, Wealth Club, and crowdfunding platforms like Cedars. Welsh businesses have secured funding from investors in 14 different countries around the world, and the Development Bank of Wales is aiming to diversify the market further to connect Welsh businesses to new investments in the UK and elsewhere. My message to Welsh entrepreneurs is to find the right investor, and shared values and goals and use the funding support available to help realize the ambitions of your business. The Development Bank of Wales wants to hear from you to help you accelerate your growth. Finally, my thank thanks to our partners, the British Business Bank, to Business Wales, to Jamie, our host, and to all the many contributors who have given their time today. I hope you enjoy the discussions and leave feeling inspired and well equipped for your high energy growth. Jochen Vaar, thank you very much. Giles, thank you very much indeed. Good to see you and, uh, and thank you for your words of welcome. Um, ladies and gentlemen, before we begin uh, our first session, uh, it's a very great pleasure to uh, have a welcome address for uh, the Minister for the Economy, Vaughan Gethin. It's a pleasure to open this industry-leading event this morning. I'm delighted to see the collaboration between the Development Bank, Business Wales and the British Business Bank to put on such an important event. And I welcome the opportunity that this event gives for businesses to come together. I know that the business community have faced tremendous challenges during more than 18 months in dealing with the effects of COVID-19. For many, of course, those challenges continue. The pandemic, unfortunately, is still not yet over. While there are some encouraging signs, as business leaders, you will know from the front line that there's a long way to go in securing economic recovery. But many businesses who have done what's been needed to survive, successfully navigating a path forward, is going to take yet more resilience and ingenuity. I'm proud that our Development Bank and Business Wales have been there throughout to provide advice and finance. The Development Bank of Wales has demonstrated impact, agility and responsiveness. And with that track record, it's rightly positioned as a fundamental part of this Welsh Government strategy to deliver a more prosperous and secure Wales. Many businesses in Wales benefited from the Development Bank of Wales' COVID loan scheme, alongside all those who also access the Bounce Back Loans and Coronavirus Business Interruption Loan Scheme provided through the British Business Bank and its network of accredited lenders and providers. Now, here in Wales, I believe that our track record shows that we are a constructive partner with businesses across the country. And it is that constructive partnership 
which will be vital as we progress our economic resilience and reconstruction mission. The aim, of course, is to ensure that Wales is more prosperous, fairer and greener than ever before. That partnership has seen the Welsh Government provide over £2.5 billion to support businesses across Wales during the Covid pandemic. With businesses in every part of Wales benefiting from the rapid action that we have taken. In addition to the financial support available, I would like to take the opportunity to remind all business owners listening today that our Business Wales service offers advisory support on issues ranging from employment practice to exporting, tailored according to your business needs. Through our impartial network of specialist advisors and relationship managers, we're here to support you to understand your finance options, to help you manage your growth plans and to be equipped to approach the right investors with a compelling equity proposition. We have members of the team here today, or you can access the support digitally through the Business Wales website and social media channels, or indeed through the helpline. The Development Bank of Wales is one of the most active equity investors in the UK. The bank has dedicated equity teams that are specialists in locating and collaborating with other co-investors. This offer in Wales is further complemented by funds operated by the British Business Bank network of providers. There are of course a number of misconceptions about equity. Today is about challenging some of those misconceptions. Equity doesn't have to be about giving away control. It's where financing that can help digital startups with seed funding, established organisations with expansion capital, and management teams with business acquisitions. Moreover, it's a flexible form of financing that can be used in conjunction with loan support. I'd like to thank the Development Bank for collaborating with partners on this event to develop understanding of equity finance amongst our entrepreneurs and our small and medium business community. I hope that all of you find today's event beneficial and you find real value in not just a full packed agenda, but in helping to grow your businesses in the future. Many thanks. Jochen Rahm.